so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a orange floral display, or spray, not display, but spray, on this green glass wine bottle. I will be doing using three A-Magic paint brushes. They're all flat brushes. One is a number 10, number 8, and a number 2. And then I will be using a number 4 Deerfoot Stippler. Paints I'm using today are Thicket, Burnt Sienna, Pure Orange, Moon Yellow, and Wicker White. These are all folk art paints, combination of multi-surface and enamels. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be using the number 10 flat brush to start off with my floral design. And I'm trying to get my plate in here to show you. I will be double loading the uh, pure orange and the wicker white onto my paintbrush. Now you can do this where you puddle and like I said go into the one side and go like this to get your brush loaded and then I would do the puddles closer together if I was going to do it that way. I like to just stick each side in and do my blending strokes. That's my favorite way to do it and a lot of times I go ahead and tip back in before I start brushing. Just that's how I'm used to doing it. Anyways let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come up here towards the top and I am just doing a wiggly style design. And this is going to be just a partial, not an open floral. Make sure I get some more paint on my brush. Now I have cleaned off this bottle. I did it with soap and water. Of course, had to get the tag off of it, and I like to use Gooby Gone to get my tags off, just in case you, know, you ever wonder what somebody uses. Some of the tags or the stickers on these bottles are harder to get off than others. So, I mean, some it doesn't take very much to get off, so you could easily just use soap and water um, or use I think some people use the Magic race Erasers you know they they work well at times too uh, just whatever works whatever you find works well for you depending on the type of sticker you're trying to get off because like I said some of the bottles are near impossible while others are just it doesn't take much at all to get them get the stickers removed I'm going to push that back because I don't have a whole lot of room here now when you're painting just keep in mind especially on the glass it, the more opaque your design is the more paint you apply actually will help in the durability of your design now, I know sometimes people will wonder, you, you have to still have to be careful though because if you get it too thick, it can bubble when you're baking it. So like if you're doing lines, I'm doing my brush backwards here. If you're doing lines and dots and such, you, you do have to be cautious on those just for the mere fact that those can be very thick and can cause bubbling. Alright, so then I'm going to go over this, just do my inside. Now too, when you're doing this, if you feel like you want to give it some drying time before you go over with the next layer, or maybe you want to do another layer over the top of what you've already painted, you can give it some dry time. and. You do have the option also of doing, if you have a hair dryer or a heat gun, those can work well too when you're trying to do some quick dry time on them. They may not completely dry, but it does help. 
All right, so I'm going to do another one over here. And if you feel like you're getting too many, like where you have like some open spaces, you know, feel free to go over it. Like I said, the, the thicker you, you put it on, just be cautious that if you do it too, sorry, if you do it too thick, it will bubble. The one thing nice about this paint, though, is that you don't actually have to bake it. I, I have a tendency to bake most of mine, but you don't actually have to. It can cure by air drying. Now, when I say cure, it doesn't mean that you can't touch it for 21 days, but for it to fully be cured, it does take 21 days if you're not baking it. And I know that seems like a lot, but you can touch it. You really, you really can use them sooner than that. It's just a time to give you, you know, to give it some time before you would actually put it in a dishwasher, anything like that. That's basically what it's asking you to do is just give it some, some time to cure. I, though, with this painted, I mean, it is washable. You can put it in the dishwasher. However, you do need to know that if you want your design to last, you're probably best off to treat it like fine china and have it hand washed. Just saying, you know, that's what, how I would treat it personally. Although, you know, we, I do have pieces that have been in the dishwasher, have not been treated really nicely, and for the abuse, they've actually stood up pretty well. Now when you're doing a wine bottle, it's probably not as important to be concerned about the paint and how you're applying it as much as it would be if you were doing it on a wine glass. And I'm saying that just because with a wine glass, you know that you're going to be using that more, it's going to be handled more, it's going to be washed more frequently, whereas with a bottle, unless you're, you're dusting it off or something to that effect, you're not going to be dipping it in water, putting it in the dishwasher, that kind of thing. So it's not as imperative, but you still want to be cautious, obviously, because you want your, you want your design to last, right? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is dip my brush into the Moon Yellow, the Thicket, and I'm going to do my blending strokes again. I'm just tapping in each side of the brush. I do like to, on this one to add some white. I can actually even add some brown if I want it to be more of a rustier, olive -y kind of brown, or green, excuse me. Alright, so then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start adding in my stems. And my little leaves to attach them to the stems. Now, with what I'm doing here, you're seeing it doesn't really stand out a whole lot. So I can go back over it, add in some other colors, and get it to stand out more. Plus, I'm making it thicker, right? By doing this. I'm making it thicker. Now you do have to be careful though when you're painting on glass and going over painted spots because it can make the paint raise. So you do want to be a little cautious on that. Thicker is better too, just keep that in mind. So I like to remind everybody that thicker is better. can't pump that into you enough. I'm just adding some more color into it. Because again, I want it to be nice and thick. For the purpose of the video, I am just doing the front. Sorry about that beeping. 
I'm finishing baking some glass right now as we speak. Glass and rocks, because I do bake my rocks too. I like for them to have good coverage as well. Anything I paint really. Alright, so I have my stems, and I guess with this one, I am just going to do, let me pull it like this, just pull it up to this one here. And the coverage is pretty thick as it is, but that's all right. All right, so looking at that. Okay, so here we go. I am going to start doing some leaves. And I am just going to be doing some of my basic wiggle leaves. Now this one I'm going to come up here and then pull back. Some of them I actually turn and go down one side and go back down the other side. On this, I am just going up and coming right back. I am going to be changing my brush around so that the different colors, like this one will have the light green on both sides. The first one had the dark greens. I can also, when I'm doing it this way, I'll show you again. Go like this, pull it in there, and then pull it back. Just do kind of a sway, or I can turn. Since you know, with the one thing with doing it on a bottle, you have a tendency to pull the paint up when you're turning your brush. All right, so go like that. Just have to get the feel for it. And wax paper. I've said this on some of my other videos, it's a great surface to practice on if you're going to be doing glass painting. Alright, so let's just keep going here. I'm going to do another one here. Make sure you're seeing this. And then just pulling it back and going like that. And if you feel like it's pulling up your paint too much, just go back over it fill it in. Very easy. And then on this one, I'm going to reverse it. Now what I can do, because the other ones I'm coming back, I can do, let's see what I want to do. I can actually go like this and do the light on the opposite side. It comes like that. This again. And then roll like that. All right, so let's keep going here. Had a little blooper there, but we'll fix it. All right, so then I can even just kind of do some little sprays that come out here. Like this one, I'm going to come up like that with a with a leaf. You can even add in a little bit more white, make them look a little bit different. Not a lot different, but a little different. Come through here with another little stem. And then do another little spray. Because what I'm going to do here is add some little white flowers and some little stems that come out. But I think when you're... I like a lot of leaves. But I think when you add the leaves, it adds a lot to it. Some people are not as big into the leaves as I am, so you've got to do what works for you. you know, if you don't like the leaves, then definitely you know, leave them out or do a little bit fewer. And these I'm, I'm just pushing and pulling away. Pushing down, pulling away. Pushing down, pulling away. And then I can do little little pieces that come. The only thing is, is when you do something like this, just keep in mind it may not be, because it's thinner, it may not be real, real durable. Okay, let's go back in here. See, I can even add on top of this one, 
just another little wiggly. I try not to touch the other side since I already did that. Have to go back over it. This one will probably be one that I rinse off and redo. Okay, so this isn't, oops, picked up a little piece there I didn't want. So I'm just kind of wiggling it in here, pulling it. The only problem is, is that you kind of see through this. I'd have to make it a little darker, but you have to just, just be cautious. The only thing I just don't want to, I don't want to pull the paint up. If you keep moving with it, you stand a better chance of getting through it without pulling up the paint. I'm just putting some down here. And then I can come back in. Like I said, I can always go over these again if I feel like they're not they're not as opaque as I want them to be. I'm going to do some little stems in them. And little pulls from them. Because I'm actually going to be tapping in some little flowers. I just want to take a look here and see anything else that I need to put on here before I go on. I need to tap in the center still for my flowers. I think they're fun. I mean, I like painting leaves. I just, I really do like that. A little pull. Okay, let me take a look here. You can go up further towards the top of the bottle if you want. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and tap in the centers. The centers I'm using my dear foot stippler, the tip I'm going to be using the moon yellow, the heel I'm using the burnt sienna, and then I'm just going to go around in a circular motion and tap it in. If I need more, I will just keep adding to it until I get the consistency. I don't want to put it on too dark because it's easier to add than it is to remove. So if you wonder, you know, to me it's easier to just add more to it if I need to, as opposed to trying to correct it if I put too much on. And you can keep working with these until you get it to the consistency that you want. Somehow or another got a little bit of white in the center there. There we go. And there we go. Alright, let's work on the next one. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. So I'm just going around in a circle. Your centers do not all have to go the same direction. You can show movement. You know, these flowers are not all heading, just like in being in a floral arrangement, they wouldn't all be headed the same direction. Come back in and tap it in with more. Leave it like that. Now on these other ones, I am just going to tap little ones in here just to show a little bit, but I'm not going to make them real big. And you don't even have to if you don't want to, but I'm just doing it to show that there is a center, basically. This one got a little dark. I'll just tap it in with some more. I can make them darker if I want. And there you go. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. 
All right, I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. And before you leave, share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. I'd appreciate it. Just hit that share button that you'll see underneath the video and it'll give you the options of where you can share it and you're ready to go. Alright, again, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please stay safe and healthy. Until the next time, you have a good one.